It was a Monday mess this morning and late last night with freezing rain and ice and even freezing fog causing very treacherous roads. Here's a look from our Dakota Magic Casino. I-29 southbound near the South Dakota border also had quite a bit of a glaze, but traffic moving along fairly smoothly on I-29 behind our shot and a gorgeous setting sun as well. A few clouds, though, filtering in over the top. Here's a look at Hector right now, 36 degrees, so still above freezing. And that's helped area road conditions, but uh, this will be as warm as we'll be over the next several days. So icy roads could once again creep up. It's a south-southwest wind at 10 miles per hour now that's going to increase as well throughout our next 24 hours. Langdon 28 this hour, still 37 in Jamestown and one degree better than that in Sisseton Lakes Country. We have a lot of low to mid 30s there, including Bemidji at 32, Roseau has 32, and Thief River Falls, you're at that same number as well. Still some visibility problems in and around the Langdon area there, reported under two miles and some reduced visibility out in the Hubbard and Wadena County areas. Otherwise, most of us enjoying quiet conditions. And as far as winds go, not too bad yet. We have a southwest flow here through many of our counties, but it's beginning to get a little bit more westerly in our northern counties, and that's a sign of some change. Let's go ahead and take a look at our satellite and our radar as we head into the evening hours here. A little bit of snow up near Winnipeg, also a little batch down in southwest North Dakota. All of this is moving in our general direction as we head through the early overnight hours, and we do have some change, and it's coming from up here in Canada. Here's a low-pressure system spinning its wheels, the White Lines isobars, and where they get friendly, where they're really close, that's where we have the windy conditions. And this will sweep through, bringing some snow and some wind to our area as we go through the next 24 hours. But this evening looks very quiet, steady to slowly falling temperatures, and that wind doesn't begin picking up too much for most of us yet, maybe up north in near Langdon and the Devil's Lake Basin. Now, as we go through the overnight hours, we're going to have passing showers of snow with this cold front that works its way through here and there, hit and miss snow. But the wind picks up, say, after around 2 a.m., so you may even be awakened by that wind. Now, anywhere up north where temperatures were close to freezing or below today, we could have some pockets of blowing and drifting snow causing very icy conditions first thing in the morning. But where you see the yellow areas and arrows, Already gusty winds to nearly 40 miles per hour will be possible as we start our day. Temperatures will be warmest in the morning for many of us and then slip down into the teens as we go through our midday hours. Winds could gust in the afternoon to around 50 miles per hour, uh, particularly in that James River Valley and out near Sisseton. Temperatures falling from the teens into the single digits late. Our snow chances should wrap up, but I do think that if we get areas of blowing and drifting snow, that could cause that glaze of ice over area roads. So use caution when you're traveling out there. 24 in the morning, falling into the teens the rest of the day, single digits for your evening. And with the wind continuing till tomorrow night, it's going to be wind chilly with wind chills between 10 and 20 below already by the evening hours, even though the thermometer says it's above zero in most locations. Here's another great shot of the Aurora. This one taken by Tracy Hayes out there near Park Rapids and another one taken up near can do. We'll have more on that in a minute, but tomorrow morning, excuse me, Wednesday morning, three below zero with a high in the single digits and still breezy. So a very brutal Wednesday morning uh, will take hold. A chance of a little bit of snow as we try to warm things up late week, Thursday night into Friday morning. Then the weekend brings some relief as we make it back into the 30s. So nothing as warm as we have right now, Andrea, at mm -hmm. 36. So maybe we should run outside for a minute in the Maybe. commercial break. Skip the, yeah, oh, <laughs> not skip the shows during the break. No, I got in the it. break. Yeah. Okay, okay, thanks. Ed. You bet. The